Hello, Ryan Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, we're going to cover how to export an RSS list. So, I have a random list of URLs here, 98 URLs. You could load in whatever you want. This will work on massive lists as well. We can go to export and export RSS XML list. Now we get another window and we get several options. We can start and what that's going to do is go grab the title description and status of each one of these URLs so that we have more data to export and we'll do that in a moment. But we want to see that we can also split them every X entry. So I have 98 URLs. If I wanted to make an RSS XML file for every 13 URLs I can do that. So let's just do that for the fun of it when it's done. I also can filter things. So filter selected entries is like if I click on them and I can hold down control and click on different ones. I can hold down shift and click on a range. I can filter those out and just remove them and I just did. I can remove failed entries. So when I click start, if it's unable to grab these data, like say the website's offline or there was a proxy error or there was a DNS error, the list goes on. There was an error of some sort and the internet connection dropped out, whatever, and it can't get those, we can remove them so that they're not just sitting there on our export. Then at the end, we're gonna hit export RSS XML list. Now I'm gonna do it right now so you can see it pops up an error message because I want you to see it. And it says that we have to set up some stuff under setup. So if you get that error, just bump over here to set up and we can give it a title, a link URL and a description. So the title is just You obviously call it what you want. I'm just going to call it this. A link URL for the RSS export itself. And what this is on the link URL is just, it's a URL that's going to show up with the link tag in the RSS XML export. So if you know what that is, great. If not, you can go to Google and you can research it. I'm just going to put in here Scrapebox. Scrapebox.com, right? And then a description for the export. This is... Uh, Friday export. Today happens to be Friday. I'm just going to call it whatever. You obviously call it what you need to call it. So let's hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this and get this metadata because if we export right now, we're just going to get a list of, it's, we're not even going to get this list in there. It's just going to export the data we just put in and give us a kind of a template file and we're done. So let's run it. And while it runs, we can see it's running through here with 50 threads. And I am going to pause the video. And we are done. And so we can see the title and description and that sort of stuff. Now we can see also Wikipedia has failed and a bunch of Amazon URLs have failed and Best Buy. I didn't use proxies right here. I could have clicked the use proxies box, which is worth, which is worth noting that I could have used some proxies. I didn't. I hammered away with 50 requests at once and Amazon said, no, you're going too fast. We're going to block you, which is why all of these failed. So if you have a really nice mix of URLs in here, then you can skip the proxies. If you have a lot of Amazon URLs or a lot of URLs from one domain, then you're going to want to use some proxies and get those. So I'm going to use this filter though for remove failed entries and get all the ones that are here that accepted. And we got some Amazon, but as I started churning through them, then they said, all right, you've had enough. We're done. You're blocked. And let's export here. Remember, we already set it up. We're going to export and I'm just going to call it RSS XML export, call it whatever you want. Then I'm going to open it up here so you can see it. And again, we split it every 13 entries. So we have three files. And if we open this in just a browser and look at it and pull it down here where you can see it and it opened an edge. Anyways, this is what it looks like. So that RSS test information that we put in there under setup, the setup information we can see here is right here. So it's got the Scrapebox link URL, which is the link here, the description Friday export, and Scrapebox RSS test is right there at the header. And then this is just your standard formatting and that sort of thing to be compliant with W3. And then we have the actual title link and that sort of thing. These are our actual data that we have in here. So cars logo and then the title and description we can see that here the title is the car brands start with c the link is our link to the website itself and then the guid is here and then the description is you can see the guid increases by one each one it's this is the related to this grid specifically of urls and then the description which was also 
here and then we have an actual date as well. And so that is how you can export an RSS XML file. And now that we have these, obviously you would take these and upload them to your website. I'm not gonna cover how to do that. You can use your favorite FTP program or your favorite SSH program, or your, you can use cPanel or whatever you use to export files up to your website. But that is how you can make a properly formatted RSS XML file and how you can split them into smaller chunks as well. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.